Oh, we've come back to the room today and they have given us some information. We're getting ready to pass through the uh, Rhine River Gorge. And we're told there are going to be about 40 castles in the next 40 miles. We got some scenic looking to do. Well, for lunch, I think we're just going to sort of snack it up. Maybe actually hit the Bubble Waffle Station. Well, they had little Monte Cristo sandwiches and he went to Saladville. I got a lot of marinated vegetables. I love these little grape leaf wrapped surprises. Cheese, artichoke hearts, eggplants. But we are here for freshly made bubble waffles. So it takes about four minutes per bubble waffle. So Dee has chosen to have hers topped with vanilla ice cream because obviously you can pick any of their flavors of ice cream. They had a whole bunch of sauces and syrups you could pick from. So I've had the first couple of bites. Um, the waffle itself has a really nice vanilla flavor. Top that with what I believe is homemade vanilla ice cream. Like I'm talking vanilla bean vanilla ice cream. Oh, that's all I have to say. <laughs> it's so good. That's it. I'm still waiting on mine, but I'm going to cry when it gets here. It's really good. We've been told for days that we need to have these. And we're like, oh yeah, today's the day. Should have done it sooner. Mm. <laughs> no, I did not need to discover these any sooner. Mm -mm. So good. There is mine. I got the salted caramel syrup. You can see it glistening down there. Vanilla ice cream and berries on top. I assume if you ask them, like, I should have just gotten her to top it with a slice of carrot cake because I haven't tried the <laughs> carrot cake since we've been on here either and people say it's great. I could have just, yeah, carrot cake and just... Bird one stone. Exactly. Put another Monte Cristo sandwich over here and just make it a whole thing. The best of our stuff. The best way that I can think of to describe the flavor, to me it's a little bit reminiscent of like a yellow cake mix. You know, when you get, but like a good quality yellow cake mix and each of those little bubbles is like an individual fluffy little bite of cake. So there's a lot of fluff in there. That's good. I do not need another one. Mm -mm. <laughs> Let's go look at some castles. Out and up to four. It looks like the bar is open. We've got all sorts of little, like the tables we dined at, which are in the shade. That'll be nice. And then we can just be like, run to the edge and look at a castle. <laughs> and we are off. So we'll say farewell to Hudersheim. Cutest little town. Well, okay. A lot of these towns we've been to have been the cutest little town. So there's just gonna have to be a tie for cutest. Now we'll do some castle collecting up and down the Rhine River Gorge. We've decided to have some refreshing spritzy beverages while we're up here. This is something with the uh, elderflower and sparkling wine and a bee just went by and mint and I think soda water or something in there. And as we sail along, there is a GPS guided, just ignore all this crap on our table, <laughs> thing that's called QV to go is an app that they had us to download. I guess it's from the quiet Vox people. There was a QR code that we were able to scan at the desk and now we can listen. It's GPS enabled. Uh, as we sail down, and they're letting us know about castles, things to see along the way. Um, Dee brought her earbuds up here, and she took one, and I took one, so we're going to let your phone do all the work. Yep. We'll get all the information as we sail along. Kind of like the thing we use in Hawaii, like the uh, Guide Along app with the GPS. They've got very light tunes out here. This is what... European river cruising is all about just sitting and watching the river go by. Oh, birds, bees. We're learning all about birds and bees. They did say they would come on and make some announcements about their favorite castles, but if you want to learn about every castle, this app must be the way to do it. Now, I'm pretty sure this is not a castle, but it was interesting, so I was like, hey, let's come look at it. Some sort of a, you know, let's lighten it up a little bit just so we can see the detail. Yeah, some sort of man-made structure in the middle of the river. We have come out, we have pulled a U-turn, and now we are heading in the correct direction. We also just got some intel from staff on board that these, like the thing I was looking at earlier, are support structures from an old bridge that used to exist up until the 40s, when it ceased to exist because of, yeah, 
don't forget to ask for a glass of Riesling and enjoy the good life. Oh, we can hear the announcements really well up Welcome here. Welcome to the Rhine Gorge, the stretch between Rudesheim and Koblenz in Germany, which is home to the greatest concentration of castles along the river. There is Rudesheim, where we just came from and flipped around. Looking back up toward the cable car area. Oh yeah, the big old monument up there on the hill. It's another nice shot of us leaving town. I think that structure, let's put it in the middle of the screen, that might be Castle Bromseberg, which is the first one that we are passing. The train is just coming up on it now. But we're getting ready to have um, quite a few in a row coming up as we make this first turn in the river. So here is what I believe is Castle Klopp. Look at that, we'll get it right between the trees, just like that. Well, we're gonna come up here to the front of the ship now because we have got double trouble. There are castles literally across the street, <laughs> river from each other. Looking at all these different colors and textures, if you will, of these vineyards, just kind of fascinating too as we go by. So up on the side of the hill, we have the castle ruins, I guess, of Ehrenfels. Got a nice view of that as we come by. But we got to look straight across the way. Because on this side, we have what they are calling the Toll Tower Mausturm. I think we got a little bit of history today as to where the mouse name came from. Um, the Quiet Vox guide is telling a pretty grisly tale as to where the name came from, and I don't remember our guide today having that grisly of a tale, so... He just meant tall. Yeah, that's what he said. I think yeah. it was the word for tall. We'll go with that. Yeah, because the other one is about, like, not having enough grain and burning people alive, so we like the Ooh. tall tale better. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's stick to the tall tale. So if you get tired of that one, you just turn around and look at this one again. And yes, the sky really is this blue. There's no filters. The blues are real. The greens are real. Yeah. And apparently we're in this zone for a good three hours just looking at castles. I'm not going to like show every castle because y'all would be like, nope. <laughs> Photos by D could try to capture all the castles. So far I've done okay. Yeah, so <laughs> I'll point out some awesome ones yep. and we're just going to enjoy. It's beautiful. Like nothing like it. There's a pretty little town I'm afraid to say the name of because I don't know what YouTube captions would do to it. Let's try it. It's called Asmanshausen. How would you like that, YouTube auto captions? Now we should just float to France and see Brest and we can get all of the juvenile jokes out of the way. There we are on approach to Castle Rheinstein, or I'm sure it's Rheinstein. I can't give it that full, that full effect. Well, they've got little umbrellas and stuff up there. You can go up there and party. So we did learn that they built their castles about halfway up the hill so they could be close enough to the river because these were toll collection castles. They had to be close enough to the river to be able to come down here and get their toll stuff, but far enough up to where they could like defend their castle and, you know, see their land. Everybody's trying to get their shots before this ship comes in and ruins it. So cute little building on the left there, but this should be Reichenstein. And there's the shot we were all waiting for. Burm, burm, burm. <laughs> next up here on the left, next to, what did you learn that this was a quartz quarry? Quartz quarry, correct. Yep. Okay. And it looks like they're still actively using it. They didn't say, so I'm not sure. Yeah, there's dust coming up and I hear machinery noises, so I would say so. Should be Zunik Castle. Kind of blends right into the hillside. That's actually good camouflage when the uh, shrubberies are this color. Just take a peek at Castle Heimberg. That's what appears to be an oil tanker. Goes, <laughs> goes by. It's a nice contrast of old and modern. This next one is a bit of a small ruin just up there on the hill, which I think you would pronounce Nollig. Castle, N-O-L-L-I-G. There it is. Got jazzy tunes going out here. They actually have cover songs of like, you know, jazzy cover songs of popular contemporary tunes, which I like. 
And immediately on the other side we have Furstenberg Castle, which I think is also a ruins according to the little info sheet we had on the bed. Oh, that's a nice one. I think that is Stalek. Apparently the one everybody is out here to see is Lorelei, so we should be getting there soon. They've got that one marked with a big star on our map, so that must be quite the wonder to behold. Uh, the name got is a favorite. so I'll read it for you and I hope you can repeat after me then. <laughs> uh, ladies and gentlemen, that's the Falzgrafstein Castle. Oh, we had to jump up to the front again because we've got a double trouble coming up ahead. <laughs> Woohoo! Two for the price of one. So right there in the middle of the river, sort of toward the left-hand side there is, I guess, <sighs> let's try it, Falzgrafenstein, oh boy, <laughs> which is an old, an old toll tower. And up on the hill, we have Gutenfels Castle. <laughs> Don't think does, that, does that sound good or what? <laughs> Falzgrafenstein, Gutenfels. There's an even better perspective now that we're closer to the one in the river. We'll leave that other one behind as we just watch this one float right by. Just some jazzy, jazzy tunes on our speakers. Yeah, this is the one that they came over to tell us to, hey, come look out for. So I guess this is a crew favorite. False Greffenstein. This is like getting an extra free river castle viewing cruise excursion. <laughs> we decided to grab two glasses of Riesling. It only felt fitting so as we're on approach to Lorelei, this has got to be the beverage of choice. Dink! We're approaching Castle Schoenberg now. I think this is the one we learned earlier has, yeah, I, I can kind of see a pinkish red section on it. Uh, what happened, I guess, back in the day is there were a lot of castle ruins around and people were allowed to come in and buy a castle ruin and build on it. There was a, a Scottish gentleman who came in and completed one in the Scottish style. This particular one, I believe, was the American. The only American. Yeah, they came over and completed the top, you know, built on the old ruins a little bit in the American style of architecture at the time. So that should be the last castle before Lorelei, and they said they're going to come over the speakers and tell us legends and tales and all of that stuff about it. Oh, they've come around with snacks. We've got face towels. Thank you. Well, an even better idea. We have just been blessed with a drink called a Kaiser Spritz. They said it's traditional when you're passing over here, this area and um, everybody gets one. So, Ladies and gentlemen, so we are slowly reaching the kilometer 555. One fateful day as Hendrik Boat navigated the turbulent waters near Lorelei's Cliff, disaster struck and Lorelei's broken heart turned to anger. Her sorrowful song possessed a magical allure, drawing unsuspecting sailors towards the rocks where Hendrik had met his untimely end. And so the tale of Lorelei endures and the power of love to both enchant and destroy. Soon we'll be passing by kilometer 555 and we'll see the Lorelei's rock and afterwards the little sculpture of the beautiful Lorelei. I'm like looking at the wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Well, we're swinging our nose to the left now, rounding the bend. This is probably where I will end our castle looking experience, you know, in video form today. Because um, there's a lot of castles left between here and Koblenz. So we'll just leave those for you to come here yourself and discover. Yeah. Can't give it all away. That's why you need to come. That's right. Well, the music got peppier. Oh, they've broken out the Taylor Swift. All right, we are going to head down. Whoa.
Uh, some time has passed. We have come up for our port chat for tomorrow. Oh, they're gonna have the port talk up on the top deck, which is where dinner is happening tonight. Well, hello out there, town of Koblenz. <laughs> Since dinner is outside tonight, I am in shorts mode with little black footy socks. Oh my gosh, scandal. Oh, this will be lovely. <laughs> Look at my shadow. Tonight we will be slowly heading towards Cologne, one of the oldest German cities. I've got the stations all set up. This is going to be the Pineapple Flambe station. They've already got the sushi station going. is going down we are done with dinner they're getting ready to actually have a string performance up here starting at nine o'clock this is where they keep their d's their this post dinner really d's i'm so happy this is open this has been an amazing night so beautiful all right let me do a lap since we chose not to go into koblenz today we'll talk more about that later so at least take a peek around see what's going on okay there's mostly trees down this way Oh my gosh, I can smell those grills from over here. Let's wander toward the front. This curry is going to be some wonderful melodies for you. So we can't really hear up here. So we'll be quick and get back up there and hear some violin tunes. Oh, I can hear her faintly down there. See the bugs are out. Oh, look at this. Yeah, they offered a one and a half hour walking tour around Koblenz today, but we decided to take it easy, get a little work done, chill out, because two towns in the same day plus scenic castle cruising, woof. <laughs> leftovers of the thing that I had for dessert. Ooh. That's so funny. All right, we're going to wander up here to the Palm Court. See about some more entertainment.
we've come back to the cabin to find our paperwork for tomorrow, which is Cologne or Köln, Germany. Uh, we've also got a satisfaction questionnaire. Good, Good night. night. Yo, it has been a day and a half. I feel like it's been a day and a half, we have, honestly. We have to jump back and talk about crew design because we did not even. We did not. How was your day? It was great. So first of all, the cute little train that took us into town had narration and mm. QR codes and all sorts of fancy stuff I was not expecting. So that was awesome. Mm. Then the gondola ride up was absolutely breathtaking. Did a little bit longer scared? than I thought it was going to be, but it was awesome. And then we learned so much history at the top up there with just the different monuments that were there. There's not like a ton to see at the top, but like it's definitely worth the views and learning about the history up there. Mm -hmm. Then you write it back down. <laughs> yeah, and I even got to plink plink a coin in one of those musical machineries. That was cool. So I felt like we sort of saw the mechanical museum too, but we'll I would to definitely that. check that out next time yeah, for next sure. next time. Then we got to try the coffee. Oh, yeah. Is it uh, Rudesheimer coffee, named after the town. So good. So many fun components to it. And, like, presentation, it was, like, a plus. Mm -hmm. That was awesome. So when they come make the tableside guacamole at the Mexican restaurant, <laughs> yeah. you know, it was, like, tableside beverage preparation. It was awesome. Um, then that's about it for town, yeah? Yeah, then okay. it was the whole afternoon full of castles. Mm. Like, you know, I did not know there was, like, 40-some castles between um, Rudesheim... No. It's all there, yeah. Rivers yeah. time and, and Koblenz. And Koblenz. Yeah, the like, Rhine River Gorge. That's it. Thank you. Yeah, words are hard. It's German, especially. It was such a breathtaking afternoon, and it made, you know, it was even more spectacular being up at the top deck with mm. all our friends that we made on this cruise and having, like, the little snacks that they brought out and, like, telling us about what we saw with the QR code or just on the microphone. It made it even more awesome to, like, Ooh. learn about what you were seeing, not just look at it. Yeah, except for some reason, I don't know why I thought Lorelai had a castle. And Lorelai <laughs> don't have a castle. Lorelai is just a, Not that I could see. a story around some other castles. But it's a cool story. Then, to top it all off, <sighs> Wait, there's this more. evening, they called it like the barbecue dinner, basically. Mm -hmm. But I've never had a barbecue like that. <laughs> have you? No. Well, like, we'll talk about that um, when we dish on it yeah. here at the end. I, I already kind of talked about our skipping Koblenz and yeah. all of that. but. I think we're going to get back to Koblenz. We're already trying to figure out when can we do a Rhine River uh, thing again. Because, 100%. Yeah. yeah, we need to do that. We so need more time. Next time, we'll get off in Koblenz. Yeah, they brought on a beautiful violinist to entertain us like mm. right after dinner. She was amazing. And people were just stopping right in front of our ship and like listening to like a free concert. And I just thought that was the, the coolest thing ever. That they would just sit and listen to it, too. Like It just made me so happy. I might have cried a little bit, honestly. You might have. It was I, a beautiful evening. I kept yelling at him, stop listening to our concert for free and then Dee cried at me. So. <laughs> yeah, and then wrapped it up with Sharon uh, mm -hmm. singing again in the lounge and it was just an amazing day. Like, so long but so good. Mm -hmm. yeah. Dinner. Let's talk about some dinner while <laughs> oh, we're at just it. <laughs> well, I see they left us treats over there at the table I didn't even oh, look at. Oh, goodness, my food. <laughs> um, Look, I started off by taking a picture of this curry butter because I've never had curry butter, at least not in recent memory, and yum yum. <laughs> I have to tell you, the bread on the ship is amazing. Mm. And they make it all by scratch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> scratch. They scratch it out in the <laughs> kitchen somehow. Anyway, curry butter, if you see it, eat it if you like curry. There is your asparagus. Asparagus with, I think it was like crispy, like a bacon type of presentation, but probably something a little fancier than it that. It might be a lardone. But I don't that's know. probably wrong. And like a hollandaise kind of sauce. Oh, it was so good. A perfect portion, seasoned to perfection. Amazing. Mmm. <laughs> I had a smoked salad, a grilled salad. I think it had all of those words in there. It's not often that I get a, a salad, let alone a grilled salad, but I had to see what chef could do, and it came out really well. There were three different kinds of lettuces. Cheese was on there. I don't even know that cracker crouton thing was on there, mm -hmm. and there was a little piece of pork belly, too. Ooh, so you fancy. had the bacon, I had the pork belly. Yeah. It was a good salad. There is sushi. Now, this was shared around the table. We mm. each took two pieces of sushi, so... I could have eaten four plates of that. Yep. Yeah, so we did the salmon and the tuna, but they had a tofu and um, another type of roll as well. Oh, yeah. I think it was uh, just nigiri, like nigiri. straight up. Oh, yeah, yeah. just the fish. Mm -hmm. So good, so flavorful. It all blended together perfectly, and yeah, could have definitely had more. I wanted more. <laughs> uh, there is your entree. What did you get? That is the seafood platter, so it was calamari... It's like a steak, um, but kind of like just cut up a little bit. There was king crab, shrimp, scallop, 
I opted for like the potato wedges, the Cajun potato wedges, and some veggies and hollandaise sauce. It was like perfection <laughs> on a plate. I had to take a minute to think about this again. Mm -hmm. It's perfection on a plate if you're a seafood lover like I am. And those potato wedges, I was like, that's a gamble. I don't know if I want those because there's a couple of other options. They're amazing. Like, yeah. <laughs> so good. Because you got to choose your potato yeah. as a side. I did a choice of steak. Now, you also had choices there. You know, what beef did you want? I decided to get barbecue flank steak. I kind of tried to pick the less obvious option, I think, just to see what chef would do to it. It was tender as heck. It was flavored with like, you know, barbecue sauce, which is sweet and delicious. Big mushroom on there. My potato preparation, um, yum. Um, one of our table mates expressed it perfectly. It was almost like you made some nice home fries, you know, not like hash browns, but home fries, and then just smushed them up. Mm. I don't know what magic was in there other than you could taste the skins. It had like a nice dark flavor and it was good. <laughs> Moving on, there is your dessert. Yep, so they did a flambe station, basically, and it's um, flambe pineapple, and it was, um, I forget what kind of ice cream it was. Oh, it had, like, too. berries in it, and then there was, like, dehydrated coconut chips. Uh, it, was, it was delicious. I really wish I remember what kind of ice cream it had. It was a berry of some sort. Well, you know what? Let's flip oh, back to the menu it. picture and see what it says. What it say? Um, ice cream. Well, that doesn't It just help. says ice cream. Because they make their own ice cream, so it could probably change, but it was beautiful. It was so good. All the flavors were perfect together. Mm. And there is my dessert. I'm not flipping back to the menu to see what the heck the name of it was, but there was a caption earlier. I did not even know what to expect. Um, it almost had like a little cakey layer, but it wasn't quite a cake. There was a nice soft meringue on top, one of those gooseberries, those cape gooseberries. And then uh, uh, the filling at the bottom was really tart. I would say mine was berry flavored also, mm -hmm. but it was super tart. I love a good tart dessert. Yeah, all of the desserts have been uh -huh. so good. So, mm. Now I'm going to bed. I'm <laughs> That's exhausted. true. Y'all, we are going to be in Cologne tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Or there's a different spelling in German. I think they just say Köln, but we'll hear that Cologne. tomorrow. Yeah. So good night for now. More adventures to come. Yeah. Bye.